it comes to loading and unloading snowmobiles, one of the biggest issues you'll encounter is losing traction on your trailer deck or your trailer door. Let's check out some solutions Caliber Products has for you. The three different options for traction that we have available for your trailer are the Caliber Trax Driver, Trax Mat, and Trailer Grips. Let's take a closer look at each of the three. Based on linear feet, the Caliber Grip is the most cost-effective traction option available for your installation. It comes in a six-piece kit with a recommended installation spacing of 8 to 10 inches per grip, which offers up to 4 to 5 feet of traction per kit. The Caliber Trax Mat is an 18-inch wide rubber mat and is offered in two different lengths, a 54-inch version and a 72-inch version, and is generally recommended for studded applications. Unlike other rubber traction mats that are available on the snowmobile market today, it features a filleted bottom to promote airflow and moisture wicking. The Caliber Trax Grabber comes in a two-piece kit. Each section is 16 inches wide by 22 inches long with a recommended spacing separation of 3 and 7 eighths inches, which means each kit accounts for about 4 feet of total traction when installed. It is our highest engagement, lowest profile traction option that we offer for your trailer. With specifically designed traction knobs at 252, 286, and 3 inch pitch, it doesn't matter what your track length or lug depth is, you'll have traction in all options. Now that we've talked about all the traction options that are available for your trailer, we're going to take a closer look at the Caliber Trax Grabber. Make sure you stay tuned for future videos where we take a deeper look at the Caliber Grip and the Caliber Trax Map. Before we get started, we're going to go over a couple of quick tips. The Trax Grabber is a directional product, so when you install them on the trailer door, make sure you look to see that the arrows on the Trax Grabber piece are pointed up into the trailer. A couple of quick things as well, is if you, if you have a split rail installation, there is a nice center line where you can actually cut down the center of the Trax Grabber when you're installing them for that center rail. One other thing too is that if you're going to use the traction for backing out of the trailer, you can actually turn or invert the Trax Grabber in the opposite direction to make sure you get traction going back out of the trailer or off the trailer deck as well as driving onto the trailer or the deck. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get some product out of the package, get them roughly laid out on the trailer door, and get them ready for installation. And always remember, all Caliber products come with the stainless steel fasteners for installation. You can hear them inside the package. Let's get started. All right, so now that we have the first row of Trax Grabbers roughly laid out on the trailer, we're going to get the first piece secured down so we can make sure that we get our spacing right for the rest of the trailer. All right, so like we talked about earlier in the video, the recommended spacing for the Trax Grabber is 3 and 7 eighths inches. Here's a quick installation tip. When you're installing the Trax Grabbers, a 2x4 comes in really handy. Just set this between the pieces, slide the next section up to it, and you're ready to fasten down the next piece. So one other question we get associated to the Trax Grabber is, is it safe for studs? And the answer is yes. The Trax Grabber is 3 quarters of an inch tall, and standard installation spec for a stud is 3 eighths of an inch above lug. So as long as you're installed to standard spec, you'll have no engagement issues and you'll be good to go. We already got the Trax Grabber installation done for the rear door, so we're gonna move up to the front and get that thing taken care of. Let's go. All right, so we just wrapped up the front door portion of this installation and that concludes episode four of our trailer installation series and the Trax Grabber. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments section below. Otherwise, visit www.caliberproductsinc.com. Make sure you stay tuned for next week's episode.